Right, welcome YouTube. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is Christine Haronic, food scientist and chemical engineer. I am the owner and founder of Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service, as well as Gage Life Nutrition Supplements. And I am also author of the best selling book right behind me Unlock Your Macrotype which is available everywhere books are sold. And I'm really excited to be here with you guys today because we're gonna talk about a topic that is very near and dear to my heart, something that gets me very, very upset. And that is what to do when your doctor won't check your hormones. And I cannot tell you guys um, how many times I have had clients come to me, hey, Miss Congeniality, Deshaun, hello, hello. I can't tell you guys how many clients have come to me when their doctor will not test their hormones. And I wanna explain to you why getting your hormones tested is very critical, especially if you wanna cure your specific situation. Um, if you wanna rebalance your hormones, you probably wanna know where the discrepancies are, correct? And so many doctors are resistant to that. So I wanna, number one, explain why they're like that. But the thing is, let's say for example, you have hormonal acne. I actually had a client who, um, with hormonal acne. It was driving her absolutely insane. She asked her doctor to test it and, you know, does she have high testosterone? Does she have high or low cortisol? Um, what's her progesterone levels like? Is her estrogen high or low? Doctor would not test. And the thing is, it's so important to understand the two reasons why doctors won't do it, okay? I'm gonna, and be humble, thank you so much for sharing. You said your hormones are so bad, you have dark marks on the side of your neck and you can't stop gaining weight. I would love to help you. You would be a great candidate for the Hormone Reset Protocol. It is a great protocol to nourish your body, boost your metabolism, lower your insulin, and be humble. Um, great, 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 great program. You can message me over on Instagram for the direct link, um, or um, after this video, at the end of this video, I'll put it in the description box. Hey, Mizzy. So here's the thing. I'm gonna be very, very honest with you. There's two reasons why doctors, three reasons why they won't do it. Um, Number one is they're lazy. I'm going to be very, very frank. They're lazy. Number two, like, well, no, hang on. Let's go back to number one. They're lazy and they just don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. And number two, they don't think it's important because they already know what they're going to prescribe you. They are going, what are they going to prescribe you, my friends? Who knows, who knows what I'm about to say? They are just going to what? Anyone know the answer? I guarantee you guys know the answer. All they're gonna do is slap you with a birth control pill. That's all they want to do. And reason three is because that's the only reason they get a kickback from, they get money that way. So they're lazy and they don't wanna do it. They don't think it's important. And all they're gonna do anyway is just prescribe you the pill. So here's the thing. That's not good enough, and we should not tolerate that. If you want to know your labs, you should have every reason on planet Earth to get that information. And this is what I recommend, and this is what where my clients have had the most success. So you ask your doctor, and for instance, the lady who just said sale 0731, they didn't want to, so you had to lie and say you're planning for a baby. Do you understand how ridiculous that is? That is so ridiculous. And I understand you're just doing what you need to do to get it done and I am all for that. But like the fact that you needed to make up a white lie to tell your doctor that you're planning for a baby just so they would assess your hormones for you, like what? Like this has got to stop. What I have seen to be effective what I have seen to be effective is if you are denied hormone testing, when you request it, you tell your doctor to have it documented in your file that you requested it and that they denied it. If you do those two things, 
I guarantee you they will do it. Guaranteed. I have had a 99% success rate with that. So what type of doctor should I see to test my hormones? It could be your OBGYN. It could be a family doctor. It could be an endocrinologist. It shouldn't be this difficult. It really shouldn't be this difficult. And unfortunately, so many people, especially um, a lot of women, don't feel comfortable being that confrontational in a medical setting. And I think it's awful that they put you in that position. You guys understand what I'm saying? It's awful that they put you in that position where you literally feel like you need to argue with them to just have your body assessed in a way that you can collect information to problem solve what's wrong with you. Because the reality is, I guarantee you, most of you would prefer a natural solution over hormonal birth control. Now, do some people wanna just do a pill and call it a day? Absolutely. But how many of you, if there was something wrong with your hormones, how many of you would rather solve it naturally? How many of you would rather solve it naturally? I know I would. I know I would. If I don't need to be on pharmaceutical prescription drugs, I would rather not be. And Claire says, birth control used to make me so nauseous. I had to stop suddenly and still no answers after explaining this to the doctor. That's frustrating. My doctors just say, if it's hormones and you're gaining weight because of that, we can't do anything about it. And that's not true because there are things that can be done. So Lupe says, I went to a family doctor. She said she couldn't do tests on my hormones. It's, it's so disappointing. So what I would like everybody to do is when you are denied, if you are denied, I want you to tell them to their face that you would like it documented in your file that you requested it and that they said no. I actually had a client who requested hormone testing. Doctor said no. Guess what happened? A few months later, she found out she had breast cancer and she would have had the opportunity to have early detection, but the damn doctor wouldn't do it. She had to go get it tested herself. She had to get it tested herself out of pocket online. And like, you guys, like, why are we having this argument to begin with? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, and I know not all doctors are this way, but in my experience, 80 to 90% of them, they're lazy and don't want to do it. They don't think it's important and they, they don't want to heal the root of the, of the problem. So if you're enjoying this topic, I'm gonna ask you guys to please give this YouTube uh, live stream a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot here. And what I want to do is I wanna talk to you guys about natural solutions. So one of the most prevalent hormone imbalances that women are faced with today is estrogen dominance. And estrogen dominance is not understood by mainstream health coaches. It's not. Um, it is very disappointing to see how many health coaches are still throwing the bro diet at everybody who can't lose weight. And when I say the bro diet, I mean higher protein, lower fat, moderate carbs. You guys know what I'm talking about, the bodybuilder diet. Um, um, Sale says, I ended up going to a private lab for the details and then showed my obviously problematic results to my doctor who said, come back when you are pregnant. Oh my goodness. Um, that just makes me want to scream. Um, Claire says, sorry to go off subject a little. Is there one typical test that would show all levels of all hormones or are there different tests for different hormones? So Claire, there are different tests and I'm going to explain to you guys the main ones I want you guys to get looked at. I want you guys to get an your estrogen and progesterone looked at because you off the bat, definitely get estrogen and progesterone. Here's why. There are three hormones that stop fat burning. Insulin, cortisol, and estrogen. You can find out very quickly if your estrogen to progesterone ratio is off by testing it. Now, here's the thing. Your estrogen might be in range. Your progesterone might be in range, but that ratio might be off. And if that ratio is off, there is a problem. So there is an online calculator that you can use, but there's a few more caveats. So caveat number one, if you are um, not in menopause, you need to do this between days 17 and 21 of your cycle, number one. 
ideally days 19 to 21 of your cycle if possible um if you are no longer getting your period just get it tested at any point but you want to look at your estrogen progesterone levels the next thing as far as insulin goes i want you guys to get your a1c levels tested your hemoglobin a1c as along with your fasting blood glucose that is going to tell us whether or not you have an insulin management problem if you have an insulin management problem then that is a very important sign that you need to go lower in carbs. And not everybody needs to go low carb, but it would just be nice to know, wouldn't it? Um, another sign that you can test for that you don't even need to go to a lab for, it's your waist to hip ratio. Circumference of your waist um, divided by the circumference of your hips. I actually talk about this in my book um, unlock your macro type. I'm going to pull it up because your waist to hip ratio says a lot about your carb tolerance. I believe it's in chapter four on carbs. Let me find it in here. Your waist to hip ratio. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Glucose metabolism, sex hormones. Um, and if you guys didn't know, um, any tests you can get online. Yeah, you can get tests online. I would say the Dutch test. I wrote a book, Unlock Your Macro Type. It's available everywhere books are sold, Barnes & Noble, Walmart. Um, I do suggest just ordering it from Amazon if you guys want to pick it up. But hold on. I just want to pull up the page where I break down the ratios. Now that I'm looking for it on the spot, I probably won't be able to find it. But... I believe if your waist to hip ratio for a woman is over 0.85 or 0.9, then it is most likely that your carb tolerance level is lower because that means you have excess visceral fat. So um, here's the thing, my friends. Um, you have to remember that this is, you have to be your own advocate for your health and there are so many things that you can practically and tangibly do by taking control of your nutrition, by taking control of your lifestyle. There is so much you can impact. Now, are there some people here who have diseases and really major crazy issues that are just above and beyond and you need medical intervention? Um, Hey, Deshaun, I'm really sorry about that issue with Amazon. You'd have to take that up with Amazon as I have nothing to do with um, Amazon's shipping um, shipping situation. But you can also try ordering it from Barnes & Noble. Maybe they might do a little bit better. Um, but I am glad that you have access to the book. And if any of you guys have read the book, um, please leave me an Amazon review. It helps your girl out. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you're able to borrow your friend's company uh, copy. Um, there's so much you can do to navigate the situation. So much you can do. And if anybody here is frustrated, I want you guys to think about whether or not you fall under the category of symptoms that express that there may be an imbalance. So I think that too many of you are suffering in silence. And how, if you're here watching this right now, and if you're here watching this right now and you feel like you've been struggling and you also know that you are so used to making yourself the last priority. Is there anybody in that, in that, in that boat? Meaning like you are just, you are just so used to your health your food, your time, your needs, your rest being last. I see this so often with women and it's, it's really frustrating actually because women have this weakness of not prioritizing themselves. And it's gotta stop my friends. I wish I could literally like, and not trying to be whatever, I wish I could be your personal chef for a week. And I mean this sincerely because I wish you could experience how good it feels to eat real good food that heals your body and nourishes you and to see how wonderful your body can feel to like really teach you like what 
real food and what it should really, really, really feel like. Um, it's just something that I just am so passionate about wanting to help you guys understand because how many of you guys are just so burnt out from work and maybe you're dealing with persistent fatigue and persistent weight gain. Pink T says, I'm very frustrated today. I was so upset about my health situation. All the doctors just shut me up and you suffer in silence. That's, that's not okay. That is just not okay. Like cooking things I know my kiddos will eat and my boyfriend, even though I know I want and need, I would love something way different. You see what I'm saying? Like, Claire, you would do the most for your family to make sure they have a nice meal and they have a nice experience, but why won't you do that for you? Why won't you do that for you? You know what I'm saying? So guys, here's the number one sign that you have an imbalance. Fatigue and persistent weight gain. If you're finding that your weight just shot up into another bracket when you just didn't use to weigh this much. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Have any of you guys found that like your weight just moved to this separate category where even if it wasn't where you wanted it to be, like now it's just like, you don't even know how you got here. And it's substantially higher than what you felt comfortable maintaining. So Lisa here says, um, I was on the pill for acne, got off three years ago, hoping my hormones will balance out. Even my skin has been oily and full of blackheads. It never got better, even after quitting coffee and dairy. So Lisa, there's a little bit more to it than that. Um, than just quitting coffee and dairy. Um, really need to dial in your nutrition and supplementation to really make sure that you're getting the right nutrients. You would be a wonderful candidate for my hormone reset. And we also have a sale right now happening on our hormone reset supplement bundle on my supplement site, gagelife.com. Um, it is an extra 25% off, which is a steal. Um, so check that out if you want to get the, the supplement bundle. So Pink T says, that's me. Oh my goodness. Claire says, and you lost your period prior. So if you're dealing with fatigue and persistent weight gain, those are two very strong signs that there's an issue here. Um, hair loss. Is anybody losing their hair? And for women, you know where it tends to happen? You guys see, I got to get my roots touched up. It tends to happen here, like right at the temples. It happens here at the temples. Sometimes like a bald spot might start to form in the middle of your head. Um, hair loss is a sign of imbalanced hormones. That's not normal. And I'm not talking like, you know how like we lose hair when we shower and stuff. If this stuff is starting to thin out and if it's starting to thin out right here in the middle. Um, numbness and tingling in your hands. Hormone imbalances impact estrogen metabolism, which have an impact on your central nervous system. Not only did your doctor not test them, she put you on hormones. Like, do you understand how crazy that is? Thank you for sharing that. Miss EM, your doctor won't test your hormones, but yet they put you on hormones. That is the biggest oxymoron I've ever heard of in my effing life. And I am so pissed for you. Like I literally want to go with all of you to your doctor's appointment and like literally be that person who advocates for you. Like this is so frustrating and we need to do something about it, my friends. We cannot suffer in silence anymore. We cannot suffer in silence. We need to speak up. And I'm not talking about being disrespectful. I'm not talking about being rude. I'm not talking about being bitchy. I'm just talking about being assertive and expressing your concerns to your doctor and why you would like this information. And if denied, saying that you would like it documented in your file that you were denied. Like I told you guys, I had a client who was later, three to six months later, diagnosed with breast cancer and her doctor wouldn't test her. Like what? Like that's just absolutely insane. And obviously I would never wish that to happen to anybody. But what I want you guys to do is to be prepared because I'm sick and tired of people taking advantage of women. I'm sick and tired of it. Um, the next thing that shows that you may have a hormone imbalance is darkened skin in the armpits and the neck. Has anyone here ever observed some patients can develop with and can hormones speed up cancer cells in your body? And that is a fact. Um, has anyone here ever had darkened skin on your neck 
or the armpits, or you've observed it in somebody else. Maybe you've seen that in someone else. You're like, hmm. Like, I had a client once who started to get darker in the neck, and she was so self-conscious about it. She thought she was dirty. This is going to sound weird. She thought she was dirty. I'm talking, she would get, like, all this soap and try to, like, scrub it because she didn't like the way it, it made her appearance look. And... It went away by changing her nutrition. She didn't need to use any product. She didn't need to use any skin bleaching. She didn't need to do any of that. All she needed to do was change her nutrition and it worked. Um, unusually heavy menstrual bleeding. Skin tags. Anyone here have skin tags or you've observed somebody with that? Skin tags is a sign of insulin resistance. Yep, insulin resistance, baby. That means you're probably diabetic. You're probably type two diabetic or pre-diabetic. If you're starting to see skin tags, that's what that means. You need to change how you eat. You absolutely need to change how you eat. Pelvic pain. Pelvic pain is another one. Using your hubby's account, what are the other signs of hormones imbalance? So stalled weight loss, irregular periods, intolerable PMS, stress, fatigue, um, pelvic pain, cold hands and feet, skin tags, unusually heavy menstrual bleeding, darkened skin in the armpits and neck, um, low libido, low libido, hair loss, bleeding between periods, persistent weight gain, I already said fatigue, um, hot flashes, conflicting results, extreme mood swings. If you're dealing with extreme mood swings, and last but not least, just an inability to lose weight no matter how hard you try. This is hormone imbalance. And when your insulin, estrogen, and cortisol are elevated, these are the fat making hormones. When they're elevated, your body is not able to utilize stored fat for fuel. Your body will not go into that mode. Your body is stuck in the mode of fat making. And the only way to switch your body out of fat making hormones being activated to getting your fat burning hormones being activated is you need to shift your nutrient intake. You need to shift your nutrition. And I have so many people who have had amazing success and results doing just these things. So if you would like to be a part of that, I encourage you guys to check out my hormone reset protocol. It is a game changing plan. It is detailed nutrition protocol. It has recipes, it has menus, it has portions, it has grocery lists. It comes with accountability with my private Facebook group. It comes with a free 12 week metabolic training protocol. It's, it's just an amazing program. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have these hormone imbalances but I have phases throughout the year where I personally suffer from extreme mood swings, very, very high stress, and just higher levels of fatigue. So when I'm going through that, I do this, and I, I probably do this plan at least two to three times a year, and it just makes my body feel so much better. Is it possible without meat or eggs? Sale, the answer is yes, I have a plant-based version as well. And I put my heart and soul into these plans, my friends. There's an original. So both plans are dairy-free. They're all dairy-free and they're all gluten-free. Um, you can order the plan on the website. You can also visit, um, actually, at the end of this, just message me on Instagram and I'll send you, I'm at Gage Wall Training in the DM and I'll send you the link so you can get it right away. Um, and also, again, the Gage Lifestyle and the Hormone Reset Protocol, um, Hormone Reset Supplements. So, um, yes, we do have it without meat or eggs. So I put my heart and soul into this plan. The original has chicken. It has salmon. There is eggs. There is turkey. Um, there's some collagen. There's some bone broth. But it is no red meat, no dairy, no soy. And the vegan plan has no soy either. And I'm very proud of that. And anybody who here is plant-based, you know how hard it is to be vegan and soy-free. I'm telling you, this plan took me forever to create, but I put my heart and soul and everything into this. And it's just a wonderful plant. Like I, 
I love the recipes. It is just so healing to the body and it just feels really good. You're sensitive to chicken and eggs. And you can substitute those out if you wish, or you could go with the plant-based version. Um, I added indole 3 carbonyl for my recommendation, and your last period was easier. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. And it's only going to continue to get better. If you want to go the distance with it, though, Miss EM, I'm telling you, get the full supplement bundle, do the full protocol. You, like The thing is, it will be the best gift to your body that you would ever do. And you have to trust me on this, guys. Like, you'll see. You'll see. Like, it just, you feel nourished. You don't have crazy sugar cravings. You just feel calmer. Your moods are more stable. Like, as women, you guys, we're not supposed to be in this crazy, like, just off kilter headspace all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? And like women have it tough. Women have it tough because these the mood swings associated with your hormone levels can be very, very emotionally, mentally, and spiritually exhausting. And you ladies know exactly what I'm talking about. So as soon as we jump off of this, you guys message me over on Instagram or you can comment afterwards and I'll drop you the link. Um, can can we do it? I don't have Instagram or Facebook anymore. So Pink Tea, you can also email me, info at gagegirltraining.com. Make sure you spell Gage Girl correctly. Or go to my website. It's also on the website. Um, you got this, just search for the hormone reset. But if you, if you email me, I'll get you the direct link or just comment here. So um, I really appreciate you guys. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And any questions, let me know. But again, just to recap, Hormone Reset Protocol, check that out. And the Hormone Reset Supplements are on sale right now, 25% off. Don't miss out on that. That bundle will change your life. So take care, everybody. Bye now. And please, thumbs up before you leave. Thumbs up before you leave. I appreciate you all, fam. Bye-bye.